Iglesias is a Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, and actress. Please welcome Jordan, Jordan Sparks. Sparks. Woo! going on 15. Oh, you know? I so, love it. Good. And you guys also joining us to talk about his important collaboration with Jordan mm -hmm. is another Grammy nominee, Yankee legend, Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams! Hey, hey, hey. Feel the bird. Uh, what an yes. honor to have oh, you. How are you guys? Cool. We are doing Great good. Oh. you guys. Welcome Jordan and Bernie. Happy Thank New Year you. to you both, Jordan. Thank Do you have you. New Year's resolutions? Um, I used to have New Year's resolutions, <laughs> but I know that I always want to improve myself and always have something to work on, but yeah. I am very, very interested in getting this music out this year. Yes! So, yes. That's That's what I'm ready, ready for that. that. That's a great resolution. Yeah. What about you, ready. Bernie? You have any New Year's resolutions? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it has been really hard, you know, this last, you know, you know couple of years, you know, 20 whatever months, uh, with uh, COVID and the pandemic. Yeah. So yeah. I am really excited because I think we're kind of are feeling like we're turning the page on this. Uh, and uh, I'm getting a lot of opportunities to play my music and to do my ex-baseball Yankee thing. So uh, I miss the interaction with the fans and I miss, miss the interaction with the public. So I'm really excited about, you know, what uh, things uh, the next year will bring. Now, Bernie, you played for the New York Yankees for 16 years and retired in uh, 2006. What do you miss most about playing? Because that looks so good. You look incredible. You look like... All right. Yeah, that, that's a home run, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but... The I don't know what the <laughs> that's how you do it. So I do miss it. I miss the camaraderie that I have with my teammates, you know, playing with Derek Jeter and Jorge Posada and Mariano Rivera and all those guys. And uh, the competition, more than anything else, you know, those three and a half, four hours that I spent on the field yeah. just battling it out and uh, not knowing what was going to happen, if I was going to be the hero or the GOAT, one of those. But uh, <laughs> just working really hard in that competition aspect, I really miss a lot about the game. Well, we loved you as a Yankee. Woo! Boom. Okay. Thank Our you. New York moment right there. <laughs> Jordan, obviously, we yeah. loved you on American Idol. Yes, man. You debuted your first album 14 years ago. Yeah. What did that album mean for you in terms of just solidifying your place as an artist? You know what, to be honest, that's my baby. You yeah. know, it was, yeah. the, it was the way I was introduced to the world. People saw me on Idol, but then I had to follow it up with my own stuff. Yes, you know? and you killed right. it. And I was able to come out with these songs, Tattoo, No Air, One Step at a Time, and they still are being played. Yeah. People are still listening to them and telling me stories. Because it's good music. It that's really is. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Definitely. Yeah. Now, Bernie, your second act as a musician is so inspiring. Were you ever hesitant to take up an entirely different career than the one you were known for? The music thing has been something that I've always had in my heart. I started playing guitar and music and uh, baseball around the same time. I was oh. eight years old. My dad was, uh, the, you know, the connection to all of that. He taught me my first chords in the guitar, and uh, he took me to the ballpark every day as a kid and taught me uh, how to play the game of baseball and all those life lessons that I learned when I was a kid, and I still uh, hold true to this day. Uh, so, uh, you know, music has always been a source of inspiration, a source uh, of relaxation. Uh, you know, when I feel down, when I feel up, you know, everything. Music has always been a really huge part of my life. And a lot of people don't know about that because, uh, you know, it's always been re uh, related to the uh, sports and baseball thing. But uh, music has always been something very important. Wow. Mm, so you know, great. a well-rounded person. It's really great. Now, you two have partnered up. Uh, for an important cause to bring awareness to idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Bernie, for people who may not know, what is that? Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF, uh, is uh, the disease that took my dad's life away in 2001. I'm so sorry. Uh, and it's, uh, thank you. And uh, it is a uh, basically scarring of the lung mm -hmm. tissue. Uh, that's my dad over there. Oh my God. He was really, really, uh, uh, it, it affected us in a profound way. Mm -hmm. uh, he's basically just, keep losing your air and your ability to breathe to the point that you cannot breathe anymore. They put you in a ventilator and then, you know, eventually you will, uh, you will pass from this. It's a terminal disease. And, uh, uh, you know, my, uh, uh, my quest uh, since uh, 2017, uh, working with a, a Berger Engelheim, 
uh, in this campaign called Breathless to just raise awareness about this disease. We have 130,000 uh, people suffering from uh, wow. idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis wow. uh, uh, actually in the United States. Uh, and there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of knowledge about this disease, uh, and uh, it, I mean a lot of people a lot more people have this disease than, than the Lou Gehrig's disease, you know. Oh wow! And, and, uh, uh, and yet a lot of people don't know about IPF, uh, and so I, um, I sort of made it uh, my quest. Uh, uh, to raise awareness about this. And I know that my dad is looking down and saying, uh, you know, doing yes. a good job, and hopefully he's proud of what I'm doing. Oh, That's amazing. Oh, I love you, Bernie. Oh. Okay, well, not you. only are you guys you. working on you. that together, you're working yes. on new music together, you're collaborating. Yes. So, Bernie, tell us about your musical collaboration with this beautiful woman. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> definitely one of the highlights of my young musical career. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Uh, uh, you know, we, when, when we uh, learned that uh, Jordan was going to be joining us on this project, uh, actually the project started with uh, the pandemic. I mean, uh, uh, with this campaign, Breathless, I was able to uh, go to different places uh, around the country to raise awareness uh, about, you know, the disease. Uh, obviously, with the COVID, I was not able to do that. Right. So we came up with this idea to put lyrics to a song that I have already composed, an instrumental song that I have already composed for my dad called Para Don Berna. Oh. And uh, we opened this uh, contest for people to bring lyrics uh, so we could just feel, you know, which was one, uh, the one that we were going to choose for, uh, make, uh, make this song a song that somebody could sing. Uh, and... Uh, the, the process of choosing those lyrics was, you know, uh, I mean, it I was just imagine. so intense. Right, I can uh, imagine. Everybody, uh, uh, I mean, writing from their heart, you know, from their experience, you know, so uh, loved ones, you know, lost, and the, the heroic uh, attitude that all these people had, you know, uh, in their uh, various tragic things that they had to go through, uh, inspired all these people to write all these great lyrics. Uh, and we chose one. Uh, that David DePino uh, was the winner. Oh. And with those lyrics, uh, we uh, uh, obviously had Jordan uh, to put life. Yes, uh, Jordan. Yes, yes. Jordan. Jordan, I want to ask you, why was this project so important for you to get behind? You know, I, I don't personally have somebody in my life that is affected by IPF, mm -hmm. but meeting Bernie and just feeling his passion and his desire to have more people have these conversations, to talk about it, to know that this is happening. Right. For me, anywhere that I can lend a hand, what is my platform for if I can't do that? Exactly. You know, so. well, it's incredible what you guys are doing. Jordan and Bernie, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and bringing attention to idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. For more information, just head on over to thereal.com.